in the previous video we had discussed about trigonometric ratios of well known angles today i am starting a new chapter called height and distance in trigonometry i think up to here now in the present syllabus 10th standard this is covered in 10th standard it will come in ita also in old scheme first year first semester diploma old scheme that is 9th scheme also this will come so this is a chapter now what is this height and distance here suppose we have a tower we have a tower we have a tower we want to know the height of this tower for example maybe a tower a pole or a cliff or the say for example the tv tower we have a tv tower in bangalore whose height i want to know without actually climbing or without using a tape i can do it with the help of trigonometry how i do it so this is the ground now at some known distance at some known distance x if i stand i am the observer and if i want if i look at this top of the tower what what should happen is my side should be inclined to watch that top of the tower it should be inclined upwards so when it is inclined upwards my my side will be like this now it makes an angle with the horizontal this angle is called the angle of elevation this angle is called angle of elevation now if i know this angle of elevation this theta if i know the angle of elevation i know and if i know the distance from the foot of the tower to where i am standing i am the observer now this becomes a right angle triangle in this right angle triangle this angle this side and this side now this side will be opposite side this side will be the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse we don't know the hypotenuse but we know the angle we know x and we want to know h these three are related by the relationship tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to h divided by x that is opposite side divided by adjacent side is called as the tan the tan of that angle therefore h will be equal to x into tan theta so if i know the uh, distance of the tower from where i am standing and if i know the angle of elevation angle of elevation is nothing but the angle by which my side should be tilted upwards to look at a uh, object which is uh, at a height from where i am standing so if i know this angle then this x i can get the height of the this thing without taking actual measurement or tape anything without climbing the tower or pole or whatever it is i can get the height of the this thing so this is one thing the other one is suppose uh we are it another thing will come same thing suppose there is a harbor where ships come now in near a harbor there will be a lighthouse suppose i am standing here at the lighthouse at the top of the lighthouse this height i know height of the light, uh, lighthouse i know then here at in the sea there is some ship or some vessel coming and i when i view this i have to look down my side should be bent downwards so my sight will be like this my i am the observer observer is here this object is here i am looking at it like this i can make a right angle triangle like this now this angle i am the observer observer is standing here to this his his sight is being bent now this angle is called the angle of depression if the observer is above 
and the object is below and the sight is bent downwards then that is called as angle of depression if i know the angle of depression this is the height h i can get x if i know these two i can get h if i know h and theta i can get x again the relationship will be the same so if the observer is standing below and he is viewing the an object which is above then the angle that his sight makes with the horizontal is called angle of uh, elevation and if the observer is standing above and looking at an object below the sight is bent downwards now the angle is called as the angle of depression whatever is the whether it is angle of elevation or angle of depression we can get if we know the height we can get the distance if you know the distance we can get the height using the same relationship that is tan is equal to tan theta is equal to h by x so this chapter is known as the height and distance and we can use this uh, you will get sometimes a problem for five marks in uh, diploma first sem diploma you will get a problem of five marks uh, on this particular chapter now we will take up a few problems on this i am taking a problem for from first sem diploma paper of code 9sc01m 9sc01m of april may 2018 2018 i am taking a problem it will come like this here he says problem number 13 section c section c problem number 30 the problem is like this the angle of elevation of the top of a tower at a distance 75 meters is 60 degree find the height of the tower for five marks so you draw a rough sketch here is a tower we have a tower the observer is standing here he is at a distance of 75 meters from the base of the tower and he is looking at the top of that tower the angle of elevation made here is 60 degree so he is telling what is the height of the tower find the height of the tower now theta that is angle of elevation is 60 degree distance x is 75 meters he wants us to find the height of the tower so we have tan theta is equal to h by x or h is equal to x tan theta x is 75 meters into tan of 60 degree you know tan of 60 degree is root 3 so 75 into root 3 meters this is the answer this is all that you have to do for getting 5 marks in this if you know just that tan of an angle in a right angle triangle tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side you will get the answer this is the problem from 2018 paper next i'll take a problem from 9sc01m of november december 2017 november december 2017 2017 section c
प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन The problem goes like this: The angle of elevation of the top of a tower is 30 degree, as seen by the observer, at a distance of 200 meters from the foot of the tower, away from the foot of the tower. Find the height of the tower. Again, what we want to find out is we have to calculate the height, height, height of the tower. Theta now is 30 degree. X is 200 meters. 200 meters. Again, you can draw a rough figure. Now the figure will be similar figure. Similar figure will be there. The observer is at a distance of 300, 200 meters. This is the tower. This angle is 30 degree. Theta is 30 degree. This distance is 200 meters. Now we have to find out the height of this tower. Is to be found out. Again, the formula remains the same. Tan theta is equal to h by x. So h will be equal to x tan theta. Now the values change. The values have changed. X is 200 meters into tan of 30 degree. So 200 into 1 by root 3 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 or you can call it as 200 by root 3 meters you need not further simplify it you can leave like that so this is the answer required for this problem again this carries 5 marks so similarly you can take some problems here let me see April May 2016 April May 2016. Again, in section C, problem number six. Problem number six. Section C. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower is 60 degree. That is, theta is 60 degree. as seen by the observer at a distance of 150 meters that is x is 150 meters find h what is the height of the tower find the height of the tower again for 5 marks so this problem again is on height and distance same thing same sketch will come because it is angle of elevation only Now again, h is equal to x tan theta. X is 200 meters. Sorry, 150 meters. In the previous problem, it was 200. Now it is 150 into tan 30, tan 60. Sorry, tan 60 degree. Tan 60 is root 3. So put root 3 here. meters because this is in meters that will also be in meters uh this is this will give you 5 marks a very simple problem carrying 5 marks we'll take up one more problem one more problem from november december 2016 November December 2016 paper 
of 9SC01M. Again, section C. In section C, there is a problem. Problem number 27. Problem number 27. The problem is like this. Uh, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower is 30 degree and on walking 10 meters nearer to the tower the angle of elevation is found to be 60 degree find the height of the tower this one is slightly slightly different from the earlier problems the earlier we did three problems what he says is, you have a tower here, this is the top of the tower. Now, from somewhere here, we don't know the distance. We observed this, the observer observed the angle of elevation. He found the angle of elevation to be 30 degree. 30 degree. We are asked to find this height, height of the tower. Now, here, this distance is not given. The distance of the tower from where observer is standing. Instead of that, what he says is, on walking 100 meters nearer, on walking 100 meters nearer, that is towards the tower. If the observer walked 100 meters towards the tower, nearer to the tower, and again observed this, same point, same top of the tower. Now the angle has changed from 30 degree to 60 degrees. So what is the height of the tower? He says. Now here it is not as simple as it is because this is not given. This distance is not given. So it is not that simple. But it can be done. Here there are two triangles. I will call this as A, B, C, and this point is D. A, B, C, D. There are two triangles. One is A, B, C and the other triangle is B, D, C. Now, I will call this distance. I don't know this distance. I will call this distance as X. X meters. So, this will be equal to X minus 100 meters because this is 100 meters, that will be x minus 100 meters. Now what I do is, from triangle, from triangle ABC, ABC, I know tan 30, tan 30 degree is equal to BC by AC opposite side that is BC divided by adjacent side that is AC BC by AC so this will be H divided by this is I have taken this as X I don't know both X as well as H I don't know both from one relationship from one mathematical relationship we cannot get two unknown quantities now tan 30 we know is 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 is equal to h divided by x cross multiplying if you cross multiply you get x is equal to root 3 h now from this triangle from the first triangle what i got was i got x in terms of h we got x in terms of h then what i will do what I will do from triangle from triangle BDC BDC tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to BC by DC opposite by adjacent that is BC by DC now tan 60 theta is 60 here now it was 30 there now it is 60 tan 60 is equal to BC is H 
divided by dc is x minus 100 make a substitution for bc and dc so now now what i do tan 60 is root 3 root 3 is equal to h divided by x minus 100 so here root 3 into x minus 100 is equal to h that is this will go here so therefore h is equal to root 3 into for this x what i will do is i will substitute this value i will substitute root 3 h i know from this triangle from a b c i have got x is equal to root 3 h so that i will substitute there instead of this x instead of x i am substituting root 3 h root 3 h minus 100 so h is equal to uh, root 3 into root 3 that is 3 h 3 h minus 100 3 h minus minus 100 root 3 i have multiplied root 3 into root 3 h will give me 3 h then root 3 into 100 gives me 100 root 3 now now what i will do is this 100 root 3 i will take this side it becomes positive is equal to 3 h i will send this h that side minus h so 3 h minus h is 2 h is equal to 100 root 3 therefore h is equal to 100 divided by root 3 uh, 100 into root 3 divided by 2 or it is 50 root 3 meters this is the answer this is the height of the tower so this is how we get the height of the tower for using this formula here here we have given uh, if the by one triangle it will not be possible to solve it we have to have two triangles when this distance is not known we have to have two uh, right angle triangles so this is a little more tougher than that but if you understand it it's simple only same relationship that you have to know only one relationship that is tan of an angle is in any right angle triangle tan is equal to opposite side by adjacent side this we have to know so this will give you 5 marks I'll take one more problem this is again 9SC01M April May 2015 April May 2015 section C Section C. <coughs> Problem number F. From the top of a cliff, the angle of depression of an object 300 meters from the base of the cliff, cliff is 60 degree. Find the height of the cliff. So, this is a cliff. Means a hillock something like a hillock a cliff from the top of the the observer is now here he is observing a object which is which is at a distance of 300 meters 300 meters from the foot of the cliff he is observing it this angle this angle now the angle of depression this angle is found to be is found to be 60 degrees find the height of the tower he says find the height of the tower now this is also h and this is x that is 300 meters so 
for this this is a triangle this is a right angle triangle we this doesn't come into the picture now this is the right angle triangle in this triangle this angle is 60 this is the height and this distance is 300 meters so that is given so this we need not consider so again tan 60 tan theta is equal to h by x or h is equal to x tan theta that is x is 300 into tan of 60 degree this is opposite side that is adjacent side opposite by adjacent is tan so h is equal to x tan theta 300 into tan 60 so 300 into this is tan 60 is root 3 so many meters this is the value of h this is the height of the cliff this is what we have to get and this again gives you 5 marks <coughs> so some more problems the problems are like this now I am taking now April May 2014 April May 2014 Problem number 6, section C, section C, all will come in section C, only this will come in section C. A tower casts a shadow of 200 meter long when the sun's altitude is 60 degree, find the height of the tower. So what here he says is, <coughs> continuing that, I am taking April May 2014, section C, problem number 6. The problem goes like this, a tower, we have a tower, it casts a shadow, shadow of 200 meter long, this length is 200 meters, when the sun's altitude is 60 degree, sun is beating down at 60 degree, this is the shadow, again this is h, this is also H, this is also 200 meters, this is also 200. We are taking this angle, this triangle. So, tan 60 is again H by X. So, H is equal to X into tan 60. That is 200 into tan 60 is root 3. So 200 root 3 meters, this is how you have to give it. This will carry 5 marks. Most of the problems are like that. Most of the problems are like this. I'll take up a few more problems we will solve. Most of the problems are similar. I am searching for a problem which is little different. Ah, here is one. This is November, December 2012. November, December 2012. Section C. Section C, problem number 6, problem number 6, the problem is like this, from the foot of the building, the angle of elevation of a tower is 60 degree and from the top of the build, same building, the angle of elevation is 45 degree and the height of the building is 100, meet, 100 feet, find the height of the tower, this is the problem. So I am taking it, it's slightly different from the problems that we did. Here, there is a tower, we have a tower. Now opposite to this, 
there is a building there is a building this is a building this is tower this is foot of the building this is the top of the building same building now this distance is 100 meters uh, sorry 100 feet it is 100 feet it is given as 100 feet now an observer from here from the foot of the building he observes the top of this this thing and he observes the angle to be 60 degree then he climbs this building and from here again he sees the same top of the tower now it appears to be 45 degree from the top of the building the top of the tower appears to be at an elevation of 45 degree so he says find the height of the tower find this height of the tower 5 marks problem here again this is not known we don't know this this is x so this is also x this distance is also x and this is from here to here it is 100 feet so this will be h minus 100 feet h minus 100 feet now i will call them as a b uh, c d a b c d a b c d e we call this is <coughs> now there are two right angle triangles here one is a b c another one is e b d e b d there are two right angle triangles from triangle from triangle e b d you can give any name you want there is no tan 60 is equal to bd by de bd by de that is h by x so tan third, tan 60 is root 3 is equal to h by x so cross multiplying therefore x is equal to h by root 3 unit what i have done is i have taken x in terms of h i have taken x in terms of h converted x into h because two unknowns are there 